Hey guys, Andy Glass here, Glass Impressions. Today I'm gonna to show you how we assemble our tool storage system that we design and sell for your workshop, your van, or your trailer. Now this particular unit here is designed for sustainers, whether that's Lamello, Festool, um, Merca, anything that offers the standard sustainer will fit in these units. Um, we also offer Milwaukee Packout, DeWalt, Craftsman, you name it, we got it, and if we don't have it, we certainly can figure it out for you. This particular unit's eight foot tall. It's custom for my workshop here, but the assembly, regardless of the height, is all the same, uh, with the exception of adding a couple nailers for the taller units. Our standard unit size is 71 inches. If you want something custom for your application, send us an email at andyglassimpressions at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get assembling this unit. We just gotta go step by step because the CNC's done all the work. Stick around, hope you enjoy. Your van and trailer racking will arrive in a well-packed box. Remove all the parts and take inventory. If there's any damage or missing parts, please contact us immediately and do not throw the box away. Each part is labeled to identify the part name. They are removable labels, so a quick peel after assembly and there is zero sticky residue to deal with. Unbox the parts and grab a left or right side along with a bottom or top. Apply the glue and your choice of mechanical fasteners. After assembling a handful of these units, we like to use staples or brad nails. With the half inch thick material, brad nails are probably the safer choice. The assembly is just like any other cabinet assembly. In this demonstration, I apply glue and staples to secure the bottom. The rabbet in the sides provide a nice, worry-free registration for both the top and bottom. Repeat the same process on the other side of the cabinet. Flip the current assembly on its back so the front is facing up. Apply glue to the other side of the cabinet and secure it to the top and bottom just as you did before. I should note that this cabinet is 8 feet tall and is much longer than the standard 71 inch unit. This unit is custom and is going into my workshop. If you need a custom unit, message us today. Next we need to add the nailers. There are no joinery for the nailers to allow you to put them where you need them. If your trailer or van has mounting locations at specific heights, this is where you'd adjust the nailer height to accommodate. If possible, it is best to put the nailers on the top and bottom so we can secure them on three sides to assist in preventing the unit from racking. But once the unit is secured to your van or trailer, this becomes a non-issue. Apply glue and dry fasteners to secure the nailers. As mentioned previously, this unit is extremely tall, so we're adding a third nailer right in the middle. Next, we can grab our drawer slides and separate them from the cabinet side to the tray side. Attaching the drawer slides to the unit is extremely simple. Grab the 5mm system screws from the included hardware pouch and use three screws per slide into the pre-drilled 5mm holes. Select the elevation and drive the screws. We recommend starting from the bottom and working your way to the top. Next we can attach the drawer slide section that goes on the trays. The holes are pre-drilled. Align the front of the slide with the front of the tray and drive the three screws. It is important to note that if you're using a power drill for this, do not tighten them all the way. They should be tightened by hand to avoid stripping. Next we have to tackle the cumbersome task of putting the drawer slide hardware back together. If you have ever done this in the past, you know this can be a little tricky, especially these stay closed ones. Take your time and align them properly and make sure they fall into the ball bearings. They will take a couple open and closing cycles and getting more aggressive each time. That's it. You have assembled a unit and are ready to fill it up with your containers. We like to lay out our containers that we're going to fill into the unit and start from the bottom and work our way up. Once filled up, haul it in place and mount it to your shop walls, trailer, or van. This is a pretty tall unit, but man, does it store a lot of my sustainers and keeps it nice, easily accessible, and very well organized. Next we'll take a look at my job site trailer. I have two standard Milwaukee packout units in there with six trays per unit, leaving the bottom open for their roller toolbox. It does an excellent job of keeping these organized, easily accessible, and very convenient with the rollout trays. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that assembly video. If you've already purchased a unit, big, big thanks. Send assembled videos, installed. I'd love to tag you on social media. If you haven't purchased a unit, I hope this video gives you the confidence and the interest. Please check out the link in the description. The drawer slides add a ton of functionality, but they do come at a pretty expensive cost. Um, I am working on a, a unit that has adjustable shelves that lock in place. 
that uh, do not have drawer slides. So you just basically have to pull out your sustainer rather than using the drawer slides. It definitely sacrifices the functionality that the drawer slides give you, but it will lower that price point. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below in the comments, and I'd love to provide some feedback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.